Hi, it's Melanie Romero with Sarusa Engineering, and I am back with an update on the Mount Vernon Viaduct project. On the first week of September, the contractor, Trailer Granite Joint Venture, reached a huge project milestone by setting the first two 182-foot-long girders on span one of the bridge. These girders are the longest precast girders in Southern California and they are especially long due to the fact that they are crossing over Metrolink and BNSF mainline tracks, making these girders span over 180 feet. The girders were cast in Shafter, California and traveled down 180 miles to the project site. Due to the size of the girders, the transportation was restricted to low traffic hours, taking two nights with CHP escorts to make it down to San Bernardino. The contractor is using two cranes to lift these girders at the east end of the bridge. The cranes will then walk the girders over to the west end of the bridge, where they will be setting the girders into place. This bridge takes two different size girders for economical purposes. The first two spans of the bridge will take wide flange 84 girders, which are 7 feet deep, while the remaining spans of the bridge will take smaller wide flange 48 girders, which are 4 feet deep. This project offers quite a few complexities since the bridge is over a rail yard with many active rail lines. Working windows are not permitted over mainline tracks from October to December due to high volumes of train traffic during the fourth quarter, and this greatly reduces opportunity to build during this time of year. To avoid schedule delays, the contractor's current plan is to erect all girders before the fourth quarter. These are just a few details engineers, contractors, cities, and agency representatives need to consider when constructing a bridge. Projects like the Mount Vernon Viaduct enhance our communities and are vital to the traveling public. Thanks for tuning in to this update on the Mount Vernon Viaduct project.